Hi, this is Simone Cobb with Cutting Horse Training Online. We're here at the 2015 NCHA convention. We've just caught up with Chubby Turner, who won the um, Members Hall, well, it was inducted into the Members Hall of Fame last night, and I hear you had um, a great reception. Oh, yes, ma'am. It was really wonderful last night. Uh, you know, they had already told me I was going last because I talked too much. And I my speech was actually longer, but every time I'd stop for a second, I, I kept thinking about going faster, so I missed about it. 30 minutes worth of stuff I was going to say, but it turned out okay because we got it done and we got out of there pretty quick. What did it feel like last night? You were sitting there, there was a great introduction with uh, Bill Riddle, and then they played a video where you got to talk about um, some of the things that you've done over the you know decades that you've been involved with the NCHA and with cutting. Right. How did it feel to take all that in? Well, I tell you, uh, like I said last night, I've, I've thought as many times as I've been nominated, I, I would possibly get that someday, and I just hope it wouldn't be posthumously. It, it's the highest honor you can get because it's not what you won, it's what you've contributed back. And in this sport, when you start in it, sometimes it's what I can get, what I can get, and then you realize, hey, I'll get more if I give back. And so to me, that's the highest honor you get. I mean, that's the most excited I've ever been in my cutting horse career to be honored that way. Were there moments that you felt close to tears? Oh yeah, I'm real bad about it. That's why I didn't even want to get up there and talk because I get choked up and I got choked up right there at first and then I just told myself there's no more crying. I mean I'm bad about crying. I'm, my dad was the toughest, meanest son of I ever saw but he had cried at the drop of a hat. And it's emotion, you know, and it's passion that you care about so the passion makes you cry. I noticed our president, going outgoing president, He's usually pretty straight up, and he got a little choked up there today too. So it's if you care about this and care about the people, you're gonna it's gonna make you cry a little bit. But I made it through pretty darn good. I started off going to do it, and I told myself you because I usually blubber so much they get tired of listening to me. There was one word that Bill Riddle kept saying over and over again when he was talking about you, and that was enthusiasm. Yeah. What does that mean when you hear that? Well, you know, I I, I guess I'm loaded with it. I, just, I love this sport, and I love showing. And I love keeping the people up, you know. It's it's an up event. And it's not us against each other. It's us and our horse against the cows, you know. I mean, I, I, I'm i the kind of person I get just as happy and enjoy someone marking a 76 when I'm marking a 3 or something. You know, it's, it's, it's getting it done, getting it through. That's why we can help each other and nobody cheats because it's not about – who be too? It's about who pulls off the better run against the cows. It's us against the cows, and that's pretty difficult. They're unruly sometimes. So, I mean, the three of you are really important role models for the next generation coming through cutting, showing them, you know, what the sport is all about. All those um, characteristics, all those, um, I guess, you know, morals that you want to portray in the sport. Right. Yeah. You, you're right. It, it means a lot. I, I mean, you know, I've been to Australia. And I will, I'm going to say this because I understand your accent. Uh, I went to Australia and did a clinic and then ended up showing in the Gold Cup. And I'm the only Yank that has his name on that Gold Cup. And I have my little button that I usually put on my belt that shows that I was the champion. I think that was about uh, 80, 80 well, I don't remember what it was. It was, it was about 90s maybe. And uh, I told him when I accepted it that night, I said, cool part about this is all the Australians come over here and kicking our rears with their work ethic and everything else they're so good and I said I'm the only yank going to be on your trophy over here so well um you made the crowd laugh a lot last night I think they really enjoyed um seeing you up there and uh listening to your acceptance speech well thank you very much I I'm really honored to to get this award and uh I love the NCHA and I'm just glad that uh I'm glad we we have this deal that it 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 kind of pays you back for what you put into it so I'm, I'm excited thanks very much for your time thank you thank you very much appreciate it